Hello, hello everybody. Good morning, my beloved student. This is Mrs. Teixeira talking to you. How are you doing? Are you fine? We are here today to continue in our unit 8 of our book Achievers C1. Okay, so please grab your book and open it on page 83. In our unit 8, we are talking about in the news. This is the title of, of our unit, in the news. So, we are talking, last class, we talk about newspaper, yes? Let's remember, we have two kinds of newspaper. We have the tabloid newspaper, that is the one that um, tells lots of gossip. They use an informal language, lots of pictures. It is smaller than the broadsheet. Broadsheet newspaper, they use formal language. They have long articles and it is wider than the tabloid. Okay, so for sure, for sure, our vocabulary is going to be about the news. Okay, so page 83, exercise one. You have some verbs in the blue box and these verbs are all related to the news. Okay. We are going to use these verbs to complete the sentences. Okay? So, catch up on. It is recuperar o atraso. Okay? So, if you stay a long time without checking the Instagram, you can catch up on the news at night. Grab. Grab is the idea of pegar, but in this case, grab is the idea of arrebatar. Like, um, be an important part of something. Yeah? You take people's attention. Lick is vazar. Okay? Um, we are talking about leak is something negative. So, someone is going to leak some important information of someone and they can have problems. Yes, because it was a, a secret information. Is can, you know, we have this word in Portuguese, I don't need to translate. Then we have scoop. Scoop is vazar but it is in a positive way. So, scoop, uh, for example, my newspaper was the first one to publish that news. So, we scooped the news. We were the first one. Leak, it's something negative. Vou ter problemas if I post something. Scoop is like, wow, we are the best. We did it first. And spread is... The idea of espalhar, okay? Now, let's complete the sentences and remember that you need to put the verb in the right form. If it is past, present, perfect, okay? Every member of staff was interviewed to find out who had the news to the press. Is something negative. Someone had leaked the news to the press. So, they are checking who did it. As soon as I wake up, I check social media and my emails. I like to make sure I catch up on any news that happened overnight. Good. I didn't really read the news properly. I just the headlines, headlines is like titulos. I just check the, I just scan the headlines. News of celebrity, ah, oh, sorry guys. So I scan the headlines and if there is something that I want to read, then I click and read it. 
News of celebrity love affairs will always grab the headlines, take people attention. Estar em destaque. We managed to the story before our rival newspaper did it. We managed to... We're going to be the first one. Scoop the story. And number six. The story was all over the front page of every newspaper and celebrity magazine. Spread all over the front page of every newspaper. <coughs> okay? Good. Good. Now we are going to do exercise three. Exercise three. Look at the pairs of words and phrases. Write a definition for each word and phrase. Check your definitions in a dictionary. So here we have words that are similar. We think they are similar, but they aren't. Breaking news is news of events that haven't taken place very recently or are in the process of taking place. Okay? To break the news is to tell someone some important news, to make known, to break the news, contar para alguém algo importante. Breaking news é uma notícia que vai uh, se destacar, né? Que aconteceu recentemente. To censor and to edit. What is the difference between them? To censor is the idea of ban something, yes? So, right there, to censor is like to ban something. Or, remember that is something offensive. Yes? Or to remove something offensive. Good. And to edit, what is? To edit is to make changes to get better. Yes, in order to get better. That's the idea. So to censor, I will cut that part that is offensive. And to edit, I'm going to read it again and change something to make it better. Press conference, press release. Press conference is interview for a press and television reporters given by sport person, politician, or a film star. And press release, official announcement of piece of news circulated to the press. Okay? Let's write it. Press conference is interview for press it's often made by sport people okay I can say here given by sport people it happens before the game and after the game, yes? And press release is a public 
statement given to the press. Okay? Newsworthy and new flash. So, newsworthy is the idea, wow, that's something really good. It must be in the news. Yeah, that's the idea. So, interesting enough to be on the news. And news flash. is short news sorry short news report that is like plantão it's not from your time but when we were kids we have plantão do jornal nacional yeah so if something happened in the morning then you're going to have a song and appear the reporter talking about that new yes this is the new flash não sei se ainda acontece mas na globo eu lembro que tocava a musiquinha so everybody stopped to see the tv because it was something that happened recently and they will tell us okay then we have slender and libo that is to talk about false spoken it is like a false spoken yeah we can say statement if you want good libel and libel it is publish false information libel publish false information okay so to censor to ban something offensive to remove something offensive to edit to make changes order to get better press conference interview for press given by sport people press release a public statement given to the press normalmente a gente poderia dizer de políticos né Newsworthy, interesting enough to be on the news, vale a pena essa notícia. News flash, short news report, que seria o plantão, tudo que está passando na TV para, para falar essa notícia ou no rádio. Slater is false spoken. Libel. And libel is to talk about, publish false information okay that's it for today guys so you have we have done exercise one and three on our book and I'm going to finish the class and next class we are going to do the connections and the idioms expression. That's it. Thanks a lot for the class. Bye-bye.